This is video number six, and today we've got something a little bit different. We are going to be working on power. The idea behind power training is you're going to incorporate strength with speed. And that means you need to put all of your strength in, your maximum amount of strength, and you need to do the exercise as fast as possible. So for this example, we are going to do something that's very popular in parkour, and that is doing something called a double tap. And that is the reason I have two bars here. You'll need somewhere where you can get both bars at different heights. This can be rails outside or against a wall to a rail, but this type of setup is what you will need. The idea behind the double tap is you will start on the bottom bar and you have to dynamically pull as fast as you can, as hard as you can, so you can then try to get to the second bar. And we can do this in a number of ways. The first example would be with one arm only. So you would start underneath on the bottom one, and when you pull, you grab to the top, and then you come back down. And then obviously the other arm. In the second example, what happens is you are going to now use both hands, transfer them onto the top, and then back down. So from here, underneath, grab, and come back. This requires a maximum amount of strength and a maximum speed to try to launch your hands onto the second bar. In another example, to understand what power training is, look at your broad jump. So to travel the furthest distance you can in a jump, you need to put in your maximum amount of strength. You also need to try to push as fast as you can with the maximum amount of strength. If you weren't going to put the maximum amount of strength in, you won't get as far. And similarly, if you try to push with all your strength, but you did it slowly, you also won't get as far. So the incorporation of speed and your maximum strength is going to give your maximum power output. Because we're doing maximum amounts of strength, we want to reduce the number of reps again and increase the stress. So instead of increasing weight, what you have to do is increase the distance of the bars. And this means that in, as well as trying to use a maximum amount of strength, you have to go faster as well as be stronger. So the bigger this gap becomes, the more you have to do. For this type of program, what I would do is incorporate a warm-up that consists of what would happen with a normal strength-based warm-up. So you would do, say, potentially the blue band, and then you would do the red band, two sets, two reps of each, and then you would go into your training session. Now, with the training session, you don't want to do too many reps, but you, if you're trying to get further and further with the bar, what happens is you reduce the reps, increase the size. Therefore, I would recommend roughly five sets of potentially having to do two or three repetitions of this. That means that you're going to be trying to generate as much strength as possible and you're going to be doing it as fast as possible. Power training is going to be very, very useful, especially in parkour. This is going to translate into being able to pull harder. You're going to be reaching your absolute full range of motion. And functionally, you are going to be able to do this type of action in the real world. Double taps is something we do. It allows us to get into a higher type position with our hands onto a higher wall or a higher bar. And it also allows us to do something called climb ups. It translates into helping us being able to do the muscle up because the muscle ups require a lot of speed as well to be able to launch ourselves above the bar. And it all around means that you are much, much more functional. So I would highly recommend putting power training into your sessions because you are functionally becoming a much, much more able person that can get higher onto a upper bar or an upper wall or something that is higher than where you started.